John Bones Jones is back at UFC 285 taking on the heavyweight champion Cyril Ghosn. But how good is John Jones? John Jones straight up took him down and choked him. Easy money. John is a larger man though, and he said he needs to get used to that big body. But the foot tape, man, how are they going to do that to Jones like that? Sometimes an interruption like that can take you off your game, but not for the GOAT. Your co-main event featured reigning flyweight champion Valentina Shevchenko versus a surging Mexican Alexa Grasso. Grasso came out hot with a three-piece combo with a southpaw that really had Valentina shook up. The champion made some great adjustments like expected and started taking Grasso down. Valentina was winning the fight at this point, but hey, one spinning back kick later, an opportunity Grasso jumped on her back like a backpack, sunk in a choke, and actually had it on her jaw. Squeezed so tight, looked like Valentina had a white beard. She had no choice but to tap. Mexico has a new, the first women's champion, adding three Mexican champions to the UFC roster right now. Major fight in the welterweight division. Number seven, Jeff Neal takes on the undefeated number nine, Shavkat Rekmanov. This was a hell of a fight taking place all on the feet. It was a crazy striking battle, back and forth. Freaking crazy, man. These guys hit each other hard. But you did see Rachmanov smile, man. It's good to see he's human. The end was cold, though, bruh. Rachmanov put Neil in a sign of a standing choke. Just dropped him, walked off. Yeah, I hope we get the crush pass one day and I'll be lit. This next bout features Ian Gary, UFC's Irish hot potato, Taking on my former foe, Song Kinan. What do you know? Seemed to be a easy layup by the UFC matchmakers, but no. Song landed a left hook, dropping Gary, but Gary was able to recover and then just put it on him. Put so much heat on Song, Song couldn't handle it. Punches, kicks, punches, kicks, everything, and just, just slaughtered the man. Good job, Ian Gary. My guy Cody No Love is back, baby. Took on Trevin Jones. I was really impressed to see him dancing around like old times, man. Go Cody. And these freaking body kicks. I tell you what. Um, Dewey Cooper's kickboxing coach is no joke. I'm so happy to see him with such a high level guy. And his takedowns. He got back to his roots, man. Cody is so well rounded and great. I love to see the guy win. Check this. I mean, it doesn't get better than that. Team No Love, baby. Let's go. Last fight I'm talking is Amanda Hebas. I love her. Taking on Vivian Arujo in a Brazilian battle. Vivian came out strong in the first round, and I was a little worried, to be honest. Um, but guess what? Hebas came back in the second, dropped her. Denver got a 10-8 round from ground to pound. And then this piece to rep for the rest of the fight. Vivian ended up throwing a last second arm bar, had it deep, but he also managed to escape, finish on top, and win. Good job, girl.